Now, I'm Chris. This is the Everyman's Auto Midlife Crisis Family Vehicle Series, Part 2. So, today, 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Love it. It's got launch control. It's very easy to use. You can launch it from every stoplight, actually, if you, if you time it right. Um, it's got a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 up front, makes 470 horsepower, 465 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a back seat. Getting the car seats in was a, a little difficult. I, I kind of give it a three out of five on my cricket finger test. Uh, the, the seats, uh, the cushions of the seats was, was robust to, to kind of force my hand down, down through there. It was not the, the, the easiest to get in and out of. Cargo space was good. The double stroller fit back with ease. Both boys fit in it. The boys like launch control. They think they have, they're big fans of that. Uh, the only issues I had with the car was my iPod would only play whatever song I had just been listening to. The only way I could get it to change songs would be to unplug it and change the song on the iPod, then plug it back in. It, I was able to browse on the Uconnect system, um, but it just never worked. I waited for like 10 minutes one time for a song to come on, and it never came on. Uh, I do like the screen. The Uconnect system, the touch sensitivity is, is very easy. Um, there's lots of bells and whistles on this tech-wise. It's got adaptive cruise control. It's got ventilated seats. It's got nav. It's got uh, digital digital gauges in front of you. Uh, there is no analog speedometer. You, you, everything's digital there. Um, I, I liked all the digital gauges. I, th I thought they were good. You do have a uh, analog tachometer, uh, an analog fuel gauge, and an analog temp gauge. But everything else is just about digital there. The things I absolutely loved was the way it handled. For for a full size SUV at 5,000 pounds, it handled like a sports sedan. And driving the road I'm driving now, which is kind of twist, twisty and curvy and, and low speed limits with lots of people on it because there's a lake and houses and things like that. In my vehicle, I have to stay pretty close to the speed limit and stay pretty slow. And that Grand Cherokee SRT, it has the ability to go much faster on this road. We didn't because I don't need tickets, but it has the ability to. It was very easy to. I was able to take it out on a slalom course with some local uh, police officers who were, were doing some training, and it was a closed course, and so we were able to kind of motor through that very quickly. Uh, they and I, myself, we, we both agreed that the Jeep Grand Cherokee had less body roll than their Ford Taurus Interceptor, their new Ford Taurus Interceptor. That was just something that the officers and myself noticed. Sorry, Ford. Um, Let's see, what else did we absolutely love about the launch control is great. It sucks fuel down. It's 13.19. I averaged a combo of 15.4. That's better than what I get in my daily driver. I only get like 13.1 in my daily or 13.2 in my daily. So 15.4 is better than my daily. But I wasn't happy with it. I needed a little better. It's got an econ button. Um, you can't tell a difference in the driving style. Well, you can. It just means that the 8-speed ZF transmission shifts at 2,000 instead of 3,000 or higher. But it, it, it always tried to shift it at 2,000. That transmission is a good transmission. I like it a lot. Uh, Performance-wise, I felt like I could. I, the power band was just there forever. Like I felt like we could. I really wish I could afford time, track time in, in these cars, because that thing would have been a blast. We could have been bombing down the highway on that. If you're looking for a track day family vehicle, you, you kind of have to consider it. It's $68,000, $70. That's not unreasonable as a track day car. It, it's fairly functional. It's a great car. That's about all I've got. I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go look at go look at the Grand Cherokee SRT. It's a lot of fun. If there's one at your dealer, you, you definitely got to sit in it or just listen to it. It's it's an experience. I really like that car. It was a lot of fun. And click subscribe. You can follow us on the Twitters and the Facebook, not the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Every Man's Auto. It's just one word, no underscores or anything. Just Every Man's Auto. Facebook, you can go to our everymansauto.net. In the upper right-hand corner, you can click the like button. And uh, that's about all we got. We'll see you next time. This was not the three-minute review that I wanted it to be. I think we're at like five-something. But the only way to get better is to keep doing it, right? So uh, that's what we're going to do.
Thank you.